Hi, so you're from TNO, is that right? Yes, we are can from you, TNO. Can you tell us a little bit about, about what TNO does? TNO is a debt research organization which works on uh, uh, topics ranging from space to automotive. And we represent a part of TNO which uh, uh, is focusing on additive manufacturing. And our main competency is to build additive manufacturing tools, innovate new forms of additive manufacturing uh, tools for real manufacturing applications. So right now you can see a lot of prototyping equipments, but the main wave is to go towards, uh, towards manufacturing. And these tools are uh, innovative, and we work with uh, industries to commercialize this tool uh, in the market. So what you see here are, are some of the applications, um, uh, like this is a, a 3D printed midsole, uh, which goes into your, uh, into your feet, uh, into your shoe actually. And this could be, could be completely customized per the need of, uh, of the person. Um, and what you see here is a, is a 3D printed teeth or tooth uh, uh, where uh, uh, the, it is also having a certain customization uh, potential in it where it depends on the person's mouth and it depends on the shape of your jaw and things like that. You can really have a customized uh, product out of it. And these two uh, products are made with two different technologies. This is uh, by using SLS or selective laser sintering, and this is by uh, SLA or uh, um, uh, pseudolithography. Uh, so these are the two uh, important techniques which we investigate. Thanks. And this is an electronic sample that you have here as well. Yes, so uh, as I explained, uh, the, the same technology which has been used to build the tooth, we can also build electronics into it. So what you see here is an electronics product which is uh, uh, printed completely, which is 3D printed, having um, conductive tracks incorporated into it, um, having microcontrollers as well as uh, light elements integrated into it. So in one go you can really make freeform structural electronics which can be used for customized uh, uh, electronic applications. Right, that's fantastic, thanks very much. Oh, what's this sample I've got here? This is a 3D printed metal part which is um, having a very intricate uh, uh, let's say uh, uh, fluidic channels in it which can take away heat which is generated by a specific product which is placed on it at in, in milli kelvin uh, temperatures so it can have a very precise control of, of the heat at that specific point and it's it's used it's um, um, it is uh, it is using water to remove the heat from that specific hot spots mm -hmm. So this is what it's done here. And are you innovating on the design as well? So do you have generative designs to create these structures? Absolutely. So that's what we are innovating at, and, and also predictive modeling on how well you can actually uh, design the product. So if laser hits the material, how does the heat distribution of the material, uh, of, of the heat on the material is? And how, uh, how, how uh, it would be better to have these support structures at what point? So these are the th uh, things which we are uh, in, uh, innovating, these models, so uh, yeah. Fascinating, thank you very much. And tell me a bit more about the materials innovations you had. So you mentioned a tooth that you had in two different kinds of uh, resin and also a ceramic one. Can you show me those as well? So, um, um, so we, uh, at this particular department, we focus clearly on uh, equipment innovation, but we also have department which works on materials. So the, the material which you see here, uh, the, the tooth, um, uh, it was uh, innovated uh, in one of our department, uh, material science department, uh, and the uh, uh, the innovation here is that uh, this is biocompatible, so it can directly go into your mouth. It has got, uh, uh, let's say, um, abrasion uh, resistance. It's it's resistant to to chewing and those kind of things, and it also has got real mechanical strength. So it can actually go into your mouth. For, for maybe uh, five to ten years on a stretch. So that's the in innovation which we have made. And this has been transferred to the, uh, to the industry. So right now there are two companies, one a material supplier called uh, Next Dent, and a machine supplier which is called uh, Rapid Shape is actually taking this technology into the market. That's so, thank yeah. you very much. Thanks a lot. Uh, is this another generative structure here? So you've uh, written programs that design this for you effectively? Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And what you see here is, uh, is a lightweight structure. So you, in principle, you don't need the whole, whole uh, base plate to, to make a, a moving part because if you have a very large, uh, heavy load, uh, it's very difficult to move fast as certain, uh, in this case, it's a breadboard. So what we have done is to take out uh, the, uh, the, the, the metal part in, from inside by design 
and create very intricate structures like honeycomb structures to make it light. This is a, this is also a similar structure which has got uh, light, which is lightweight but very strong uh, structure which is also created by uh, the design. Yeah. Right, and that's that's been manufactured using SLS. In this that is case. absolutely right. Right, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.